Today I'm going to be working on my electrical system and I uh, just wanted to show you one of these little uh, neat tools that I picked up on Amazon. So what I got here is a little spare uh, GFCI tester and it also tests a bunch of uh, different faults in your wiring. You know, open ground, neut uh, open neutral, open hot, hot ground, reverse, hot, neutral, reverse and uh, if it's all correct, these two lights here will be lit. Um, in amber, or uh, not amber, sorry, that's uh, orange. So I'm just going to test my source power. I'm actually on the heart over here. My source power is from a panel over there. Two extension cords. Yes, there's a lot of voltage drop across this. Um, uh, it's a, probably a 15 amp circuit, and the electrical cord is very thin, so these are 15 amp electrical cords. So let me just do a quick test here. Right. I plug that in and I've got, uh, let me plug that in there, yeah. It's hard to see but the, uh, the two right, the two right um, LEDs are actually lit. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug shore power into the boat. And um, this is an adapter that converts the, uh, the 15 amp um, extension cord into the uh, 30 amp service. So the boat is now powered. So now I'm over at the panel and before it hits the panel I've actually um, installed a galvanic isolator. So let me just show you how that's wired in. So the source um, wires from outside um, they they come out in here so this is um, these are this 10 gauge wire um, three wires so the safety ground before it hits the uh, the breaker I've taken um, taken off that safety wire this goes to the galvanic isolator goes to the galvanic isolator and then it comes back on this wire so this is typically where you would plug in your 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 ground your safety ground but this safe this uh, galvanic isolator goes in here so the galvanic isolator that i went with was the uh, pro marine one and this is the uh the 30 amp uh galvanic isolator it's actually installed right there so after the galvanic isolator was installed, I also installed this new panel. Um, so this is now the new main breaker. The old breaker is actually over here, and it had some problems. The uh, uh, so it was actually not uh, it was bypassed, so there was no breaker there at all. So this is uh, going to be a great new safety feature. This new panel actually has a built-in ELCI. And so it's a 30 amp breaker and it just has two um, additional 15 amp breakers. So what I did was uh, this, this, these two breakers here are not enough for this boat because I still have a, another battery charger and uh, I have a hot water heater and there's uh, courtesy plugs um, throughout the boat. So what I did was this is the main breaker and then I made a, the other breaker panel, a pony panel. So th this, is, uh, this is how this boat is set up. So looking at the back of the, the main breaker panel, um, so I was saying earlier that the main breaker is wired to the pony panel, which is back in, in there. Um, what I've got wired in between them is actually an inverter charger. So that is actually going to this inverter charger. And it, it comes in here and it goes out there. So it's an inline um, inverter charger. So as soon as I activate this breaker here, it the wire start the the voltage starts flowing in here. It also powers this panel over here, so I can be on shore power and not really have to be uh, using my battery. It does charge the battery, but uh, it's kind of inline. And now I've got power going to my courtesy plugs 
So now I'm just going to check to check the polarity on these plugs, which is also great. So that's fine. So getting back to the inverter charger, this is a uh, the 2000, 2000 watt version. The reason I went with that is because my wife has got a hair dryer and we got a blender and uh, we're going to need to uh, be able to use those when we're at anchor, not connected to shore power. So by default, it just automatically starts charging. So it's just topping up the, uh, the battery bank right now. It's almost fully charged. So in addition to the... Uh, the charger I installed a, um, a battery monitor so right now there's six amps going into the battery and it's very useful to know um, you know what's going into the battery and what's coming out of the battery so 14.4 volts 80, 82 watts the other nice thing about this uh, battery monitor is It'll actually tell you if there's any uh, parasitic uh, drain on your batteries. So right now, the, all the DC um, switches are disabled. And let me just check. Okay. All right. So we're, we don't we don't have any um, any draw on it. So it's it's uh, I think the charger's still putting something in there. So it's 0.28 amps going into the. Um, the battery bank. Now, I can turn my negative on, and I will just check my post my starter battery to see if there's any draw. So it shouldn't be. Okay, so it's still in the pluses, so that's fine. So this particular switch is not um, drawing any um, voltage. Now I'm going to turn on the uh, the house battery see if there's anything happening there because everything is turned off on the panel everything is turned off and here you see there's 0.19 amps being drawn from the house batteries which equates to about two watts two watt draw so over time that can draw down your battery so I did actually find out what that parasitic draw was from and it's from uh, uh, how was it these two wires here, I trace them back and that's actually going to the autopilot. So there should be, um, I gotta check for a fuse. There should be a fuse and we need to install a, um, a switch of some sort because I don't want the autopilot turned on all the time. There's the, uh, the battery monitor and the shunt that has to be installed. And uh, this is kind of how you uh, can wire it in just the different um, um, battery monitors, different options, and uh, I've got a uh, four six volt cells or four six volt batteries. Here's the uh, wiring layout for uh, the Blue Seas uh, 120 volt 120 volt AC panel. The one with uh, the ELCI is this one here. So here's the uh, uh, schematics. Here's the manual for the, uh, the Freedom XC um, inverter charger, the 2000 watt. Um, I was just going to show you the, uh, the wiring schematics here. For a marine installation, um, this is how it would be wired in. So my um, galvanic isolator is installed here. Then that ma that new panel that I installed, the new 120 volt panel. This is this item here. Then the the new uh, new charger slash inverters. This one right here. Um, I had to upgrade the um, the ground, so uh, it should have been uh, two aught, sorry one aught um, sized uh, ground wire. Um, I actually went with 2 watt because I couldn't get any 1 watt. Uh, and then this is the old um, pony panel. And then, my, then uh, my house bank here. 
Well, that's the update for April 7th. If you like what I do, click the like button and also click subscribe. See you next time.